everyone. We are gonna do some playing today. Super excited. We're gonna play with some magicals. All right. When you get here, please let me know that you're here. Please share the video. It's noon. Noon in, well, it's noon in Idaho. All right, we'll wait for a couple people to pop on. Hey, Leah. I was actually just gonna, I was just getting ready to send you the video. <laughs> oh, that's funny. If you guys can share, 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 that would be amazing. two people on here. I am going to finish coloring this puppy dog while we're waiting. So I'm just coloring this cute little puppy dog from CC Designs um, so that I can uh, put him on this canvas that we're going to create. They're so pretty. <laughs> is this super out of focus or is it just my computer? My computer's doing really weird things today, so we're gonna kinda have to wing it because I can't really see what I'm doing as I'm doing it like normal. Um, I don't know if it's like my internet that's being stupid or my computer itself or what, but I have something Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. As we all know. How are you guys today? I guess I could put them like way up here so you guys could see them better. I need the camera to be kind of back though because um, as I spray my, my magicals and stuff, it's going to be pretty crazy. It's gonna be lots of crazy spray everywhere. <laughs> I love these little puppies. They're just so cute. It's okay now. Yay! I know, I feel like I'm totally talking to myself today. I don't know. I've had like a weird morning. Um, Evan and I went out Pokemon hunting, which was super fun. We got like a super rare Pokemon, which is great. And that also lets you know what an insane nerd I am. Cause that's what we did this morning. But, um, my husband took an overtime shift today, so he's not home. So like our whole routine is kind of thrown off, which is fine. It's totally great. But, um... At the same time, it's like, I don't know, when something upsets the routine, it's just weird. And so I feel like my whole day is thrown off. <laughs> and then I'm here with you guys at noon instead of at 10. Um, the reason being is, you know, we, we had EX raid passes to go to the Pokemon 
event, which is a very hard to get and special thing to do. And so, you know, just a little craziness, little wildness to start our morning. What are you guys doing today? Tell me, tell me, tell me, I want to know. I'm just coloring this guy like randomly. I'm not. I used my W's and my C's to color his fur, and that was just RV00 to color his um, tongue and his nose and all of that good stuff. And, well, Abby, hello. How are you this morning? Good morning, girl. This is RV34, and I'm just finishing up coloring this little dog before I show you guys the main attraction here. The main attraction today is our, our Lindy's. Um, oh my gosh, these are so fun. It's These are Lindy's. These are called Magicals. They're the Magical Shakers. And then I have Lindy's Sprays. And I cannot wait to show you guys. Here's a little sneak peek. I made a canvas um, with one of them. I love my magicals. So this is going to be like an under the sea type canvas looking thing. I hope that my video hasn't cut out. Um, You're done organizing and ready to craft, Kelly? I hope my video... Oh, you did your gelatos. Fun! Um, so, like I said, my internet's doing weird things. So, my screen is just a um, endless loading screen at the moment. So, you guys are going to have to be on top of the commenting today. Because otherwise I have no clue if I'm still live or not. <laughs> So you gotta help me out. You gotta help me out. It says I'm still live in the corner, but I hope I'm still live. I don't know. You're good? Okay, thanks. Christy's my sister, in case any of you guys didn't know. Christy's my big sister. She still lives in California, where we're from. We're all from California. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue around his eyes because I feel like he needs a blue eye. Little puppy dog. He's so cute, I love the little puppy dogs. And um, I'm going to use a couple of my YGs to, not YGs, <laughs> YRs, to color his tag. Because I feel like he needs a little gold tag. Actually, I have Y28, and um, I'm going to go with Y15. So the 28 is like this really interesting gold color, and it's really muted. So I like to brighten it up with like a really bright yellow and make it like golden, golden. There you go. There's the little puppy dog. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready for all this good stuff? Oh my gosh, my screen is just buffering, buffering, buffering. So, we'll see how it goes. Because, yeah. Alright, here we go. I gotta set my little puppy dog to the side. So, I have a whole bunch of these magicals. And um, I just set them out in order of uh, color. So, I'm gonna kind of do like a rainbow color. Like, I have this canvas. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a rainbow scenario. I hope this is in the middle for you guys because like I said, I can't see my screen. So um, this is a red, this top color here is red. Um, it's called Crimson, I believe. What is it called? Autumn Maple Crimson. And this is a spray. And then this, these are all the magicals I'm gonna use today. These are the shakers. So just to show you what it looks like, the difference between the spray and the shakers on a canvas, okay? Um, so, back to my little guy here. And so, um, we're gonna start, is everybody still here? 
<laughs> this is so crazy for me because I'm so not used to having this um, do this funky thing to me. So, sorry. You, you guys got to tell me if I'm good. Okay. And am I all in the screen here? Okay, perfect. Sorry, technical difficulties. That's kind of that's kind of life life in this modern century here. And okay, so we're going to go like that. Perfect. Thank you, Kelly. That's what I needed to know. You keep that line of communication open because I really need to know. Okay, so this is the Magical Shaker and um, this one is called Polka Purple. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to sprinkle these on here. And I'm I'm not going to do like the straight lines like I did last time. I just want to do a little bit more craziness. And the more of the shaker you use, this is actually kind of a lot. So the more that you use, the more vibrant the color is going to be. The less that you use, the more like kind of washed out or pastel kind of color it's going to be. So that's purple. This one is Afternoon Delight Denim. And I'm putting these all on my canvas at one time because I think it's super fun to have them um, kind of bleed in together. This is Guten Tag Teal, must be German. I like it. All right. And then I have green. This is Cathedral Pines Green. And you guys can tell I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just shaking this like it was, you know, a spice from my kitchen or something. Just shaking it out, just tapping it with my finger. And um, next one is yodeling yellow because, you know, we need yodeling yellow, right? Super fun. Ooh, that looks bright. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I mean, we're we're winging it here. We're going, we're live and we're doing this. And then this is Oktoberfest Orange. I love this, I love this color, like major love. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Okay, now, are you ready for the magic part? Magic! Um, we have, I'm gonna set these all aside. So this is just a spray bottle of water. It's nothing special at all. Just a little spray bottle with like a full on, you know, spray. There's no special, like I know that the Tim Holtz bottle has um, different ways or you know it sprays differently so that there's bigger droplets and smaller droplets and stuff this is just a regular spray bottle um, what you want to do with this is you can spray slow you can spray fast um, you can decide the difference of how much you want to spray it or how little you want to spray it how much you want to saturate all of this ah oh. Is that not the coolest ever? If this has washed out too much for you, like I feel like I want more purple in there, you can just go back in and add a little bit more of your magicals. And then you add a little bit more spray to activate it. And that's literally all you do. Like, seriously, that's it. That's that's the whole scenario. Um, then you let it dry, obviously. So you can heat it up with your heat gun, and it'll actually let you allow you to move these things around a little bit. Um, you can just leave it as is and let it dry flat. You can do all sorts of things with it. So um, I just wanted to show you one that I did yesterday. And this is a canvas I did 
um, I added texture paste to it and colored the little guys and the little girl and I added let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit oops that's not out there we go so you can see that this is all the texture paste and stuff that I added in it and my texture paste is like a silver gray color um then I have the these guys I colored on Copic paper with Copic markers and then I just added these are from the Doodlebug So Punny set all of this is from the So Punny um the Infera sets or whatever chit chat sets I don't know what it's called but these are just cardstock little things and so I have this all um mod podged on there I used matte finish mod mod podge I can't even say that word wow um so I used the matte finish to put a nice thick layer over the top of this just to seal it on there's a lot of different things you can do to seal it on but that is just what I did so, and I totally just set that in blue magicals, which is cool. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you that. So I'm going to pull this one aside so that it can dry. So give me just a second while I set that aside somewhere where it's not going to make everything colored. And then I want to show you some of the sprays. So I have another canvas here. We're just going to set it right over the top. Why not? Let's turn it this way. Right about there. Hopefully that's about center for you guys. Okay, so I have sprays and this is going to show you the difference in the sprays as opposed to the, the glitters, the magical glitters. Do I have two of the same color green? Nope. Drop Dead Gorgeous Green and Ponderosa Olive. So that's my two greens. Uh, like I said, this is... This one's Drop Dead Gorgeous Green and this one's Ponderosa Pine Olive. This one is High Maintenance Magenta. This one is Autumn Maple Crimson. And this one is Sassy Sapphire. So with these, all you do, when you first get them, it's just, um, it's just powder in the bottom. And there's a little fill line right here. You fill it up with warm water and you just let it sit. Um, when you let that sit for like 10 minutes, then it absorbs all of the, all of the glitter in here. You'll see that the, that the glitter stuff, the pigment is on the bottom. So you'll want to shake it really well before you use it to get all of that pigment off of the bottom. That's what's going to make your canvas pretty. I'm going to set these up. And so you shake it up and then you pull off the cap and you spray. And this one, we're just going to do random because I just want to show you guys. Super, super pretty. Now this will be completely shimmery, like gorgeously shimmery. Um, we're gonna go with Drop Dead Gorgeous Green. Sorry if I just shook the whole table. <laughs> and the Drop Dead Gorgeous Green, we're just gonna spray over here in this corner. And you see that you can use this for your cards, you can use this for canvases, for mixed media. Um, and then we're gonna go with this pink one here. This is high maintenance magenta. There's so many things that you could use this for. Oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, this is gonna be a fun canvas. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> That's me, I'm like, ooh. Um, so for those of us who are mixed media challenged, <laughs> look at when they mix together, how gorgeous the, that purpley blue is. That is so pretty. Yay. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs like totally scratching at the door, but they are. Um, so anyways, I think this is gorgeous and I'm going to sit here and let this dry um, I do want to tell you guys that this is dye based, so you will dye your hands, you will dye your fingers, but it's nothing that, you know, washing your hands and some baby wipes and stuff won't take care of. Um, 
so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And this, I mean, just look at how amazing this is. This is so pretty. So I'm going to let this dry. You can actually add more and more layers to it. You can add um, all kinds of, you know, coloring and, um, you know what? Let me do this. Let me grab my heat gun really fast and let me show you how you can kind of move this stuff around. Just one second. All right, so my heat gun's going to be a little noisy. as I plug it in because that's what heat guns do right they're noisy but I just want to show you guys like how you can move it around so you can really go crazy with creating some amazing Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Look at the texture it creates. Move that pink into that green some more. How fun is that, you guys? It's so fun. I'm gonna move this green up. Sorry if it's my hands in front of your vision here. So you can really create some amazing texture, some amazing scenes, um, just some really, really cool stuff with this. And the sky's the limit. The cool thing about these being dye based, that's so fun. Um, the cool thing about these being dye based is that when they dry, you can actually add more layers on top of them. So you can play with this. You know, I sprayed a lot on here, so that's why it's still, you know, moving and all of that stuff. But you can play so much with this um, before it sets and really achieve the texture that you want really achieve the scene and the move that you want and um, you can add more glitter to it um, you can make it do all kinds of stuff like I said I did this one as kind of an under the sea sort of thing I used the Jack Frost white up here which is really really neat um, you could actually even add some of that let's let's go for it shall we let's add some of that on here where did I put it right where is it where did I put my Jack Frost well, maybe we won't add it because oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is the the Jack Frost. Oh, frozen Jack Frost is what it's called, and it's actually white. And so you can add some of this over it, and it'll just add texture and sparkle. I'm just gonna add it in this middle area here. How cool is that? See, see, we're just winging it and yet we're having so much fun and going for it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and then we're gonna move it around a little bit more. You want me to blot it with a paper towel? Okay. I just wanted to show you how that white actually adds white pigment to it. And if you were to do this after it dried. Sweetness. Okay, um, I don't have a paper towel handy, but I do have my crafty towel. So I'm gonna blot this. Look at that texture it adds. That's a cool idea, Sandy. So pretty. See how many cool things you can do, how many textures, how much fun stuff. Yay! Ooh, I added a little purple over here to the teal. Isn't that fun? So, 
it, this, these are the magicals. This is what everybody's going crazy over. Crazy. Um, hi, pal. How are you? These are so fun. You have to keep playing with them. You have to keep seeing um, all the things that you can do. I am having a blast. I'm even getting dirty. I know you guys are like impressed because we all know that Jamie doesn't do dirty. Um, I just like this is the coolest thing and it makes mixed media easy for those of us who don't mixed media. <laughs> um, I think it'll be so much fun to, ooh, I hope that doesn't drip. Um, it'll be so much fun to play and add, you know, coloring to these, add different little things. Um, there's just, there's so much that you can do and I just, I can't get over them. They're so cool. So um, they're in the store right now. Kelly, I think you got more, right? Right, I think so, maybe. Um, if not, we're going to be ordering more because, I mean, come on, how, how magical is all of this? How fun is it? I am such a mixed media newbie, and yet here I am, like, creating mixed media things, and it's just, it's just changed things. I feel like I can make so many different projects, and the sky's the limit, and these are just little canvases that I got. They're, you know, super cheapo, but yet, if I wanted to make somebody something to really make them feel special, I mean, you know, a project like this, it's it's the same, you know, as my card making. I'm using my card making base from it, yet I am I can go big. I can go better. I can, I don't know. I'm just so impressed with these. I think they're way fun. Um, the other thing that you can do, and I know that um, I haven't done this yet, but you can actually use these, um, and we have little pots, too but you can take the lids off of these and you can use them to paint with. You just dip your paintbrush in there and you can use that to sprinkle the magicals like this or you can actually use them to watercolor with. So these are also a watercolor medium. They're just, there's so many cool things that you can do with them. Um, it will resist embossing, it absolutely will. So if you emboss on this, you can actually emboss before or after. So if you had a canvas or a mixed media page or something like that, or even a card or something like that that you wanted to, you can actually emboss before or you can emboss after. So if you want this whole background and then you let it dry, you can stamp and emboss on top of that. Or if you were doing like a watercolor or something like that, you could um, stamp and emboss first, then use this to watercolor so it kind of stays more within the lines, unless you're doing something a little more abstract and stuff than you could watercolor after. So there's totally so many things that you can do. You can actually mix this with your embossing powder. I saw the, the girl that did this, like she had a, um, like an impression obsession stamp that was like a silhouette. And so she stamped the Versafine and then she mixed some of this with the embossing powder and um, you know, just kind of mixed it in so that the image was kind of dappled. And so it was dappled with the, the Lindy's powder and the embossing powder and it looked really neat. Um, just, there's so many things that you could do. Yes, I would think that you would probably use a watercolor paper for it. They, at the, the Idaho Scrapbook show that we were at, had a mixed media journal that they had it in. So it was, you know, like a spiral bound mixed media journal that they had done it in. Um, so I would imagine it's going to be kind of like coloring where you find your personal preference on the paper. I would imagine you want to get some sort of paper that actually um, holds a lot of moisture and, and liquid, uh, just that it'll stand up to that without breaking down your paper fibers and stuff like that. So I would think a watercolor paper would probably be best, but I would imagine there are other papers too. So um, my project for this one is, is that I'm gonna cut out this little guy and put him on here and do the You Left Paw Prints on my heart and you know, make a little project out of that. I kind of want to mixed media this one more and add some flowers and that sort of thing to it. So maybe I won't use the little dog. Maybe I'll use 
the little kind of cute fairy. This could be a really cute fairy one. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. I think fairy with flowers. Oh, that would be so cute. So cute. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, the difference between the sprays and the shakers. Um, the little pots that we have is the same thing that's in the shakers. There's just different colors and they come as a set, the little pots, um, and they, they come in coordinating colors and that sort of thing so that you have an array of colors to work with. And um, definitely check out what we have. They are so much fun, so much fun. I will be playing with these a lot more in the future. I can't, I can't even, they're just so cute. They're like, they're awesome. Um, I will tell you though, Sandy, I, um, when you put these on like cardstock or um, watercolor paper, sorry, forgot my words. I really need more coffee, guys. I can tell because I'm saying um a lot and I feel like I'm saying um a lot and I think that means I need more coffee. Just going to throw that out there. So if anybody wants to coffee delivery, I'm right here. <laughs> um, but anyways, where I was going with that was if you do use the watercolor paper, I think that it will stand up better if you wanted to do more and more layers of these. And um, if you use regular cardstock, it might, um, I would do only like single layers of these. So if you plan on doing multiple layers, I would definitely go with something a little bit thicker, like a watercolor paper for that. Um, what else? Anything else? Do you guys have any questions? Oh, that's right. And you'll see more of the glitter on the paper. Like these look shimmery in person. I know you can't see the shimmer on the screen so well but these do look shimmery in person, but on the canvas when they dry, the some of that shimmer goes away. I know in the crimson you can still see some of that shimmer and glitter, but in some of these um, different colors on the canvas, some of the shimmer tends to be absorbed by the canvas. So if you want it to stay super shimmery, the cardstock or watercolor paper is going to be your best bet. But what I love about it is that the shimmer doesn't come off on your hands. Like you don't walk out of your classroom and you glitter like when you normally use glitter. <laughs> I like that you don't come out of your craft room like covered in glitter. So even though I have colored fingers, I always have colored fingers from my Copic markers. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, but yes, it, once it dries, will a different color on top mix or do they stay separate? They stay separate so that you can layer the colors. Um, that is the joy of a dye base with these is that if I were to go back over this green and put like a blue over it or something, you would still have that green and that blue. They don't, once these dry, they won't mix because it's a dye. So any porous material that you spray this on, it will mix or it will absorb into that porous material and that's it, it's dyed. So um, you can go back in with different colors and layer up the different colors. So that's both with the these pigment um, shakers, the magical shakers and the sprays. They have the same base to them, so they are a dye base, and anything porous will absorb that dye, and then you can go back in and spray different colors over the tops of them to uh, layer for yourself. Um, classroom, that's the teacher in you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know, whatever. Craft room, classroom, it's all the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> nice catch, nice catch. So um, maybe that's why I need coffee. I feel like I'm teaching class. Perhaps, I don't know. But anyways, so that's all the magicals. I just wanted to show you guys what was what was going on with all of those and why everybody was going gaga over them. I strongly urge you to check out some of the stuff that our design team member Alexandra has done lately. Um, you can find it on our Seven Kids Customer Create page or um, there's a few different places that she's posting on her personal page if you follow her on Instagram. O-M-G. She has done some incredible things the last couple days with these Lind Lindy's. You can take these and you can color flowers with them. You can color your texture paste or your gesso or anything like that with them. If your gesso is clear or even white, you can mix it together. 
and it'll obviously make purple because that's the one I have in my hand. So you can totally mix these into whatever medium. You can mix them into um, paints, the uh, acrylic paints and stuff. You can mix them in and it'll pigment your paint and it'll leave that little bit of shimmer with it too. That's why they're called magical. Um, so really the sky's the limit with these guys. I cannot wait to see what you all create with these. I'm so excited. You'll see lots of new stuff from me um, using these, lots of canvases and stuff because, uh, yeah, like, isn't this the coolest thing ever? <laughs> so I'm so happy you guys could join me today. Um, oh my gosh, 36 minute video, like that's a new record. But I didn't want to uh, keep you guys too long. I know it's lunch and I know everybody's hungry, but I think for lunch I'm gonna go um, have coffee. <laughs> Because I think I need it, right? Oh, man. Yes, Alexandra makes totally stunning things. I, yeah. So go comment on all of her stuff and tell her how amazing it is because it really is. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful afternoon. Toodles.